the last video of cracking a web. You have, if you're watching this video, you've already installed your drivers that are compatible with ComView, and you did everything that you need to do to get to this point for using the Arrow Wizard software. Alright, um, this is where, as soon as you open this up, after running as administrator, if you're a Vista user, because no one ever mentions that to us, um, you're going to want to hit this tab all the way over here. Hit options. This will make it a lot easier to use because whatever they had wasn't working for the video that I learned from. He was having command prompts popping up and I wasn't. I had like a little tab there. You couldn't see anything. So you, after you hit options tab, click use classic arrow wizard. This would be a lot easier to use. So now after that, go to your adapter list and Mac Changer tab. It should show your um, wireless adapter and it should say ComView for ComView in brackets and then whatever your adapter is and then you're gonna wanna click on that and then enable the adapter. So you don't need internet to do this stuff either. I forgot to tell you that. This is just, um, you only need internet to download the things you need and that's it. But anyways, you click on that and then enable the adapter. Then you go to monitor mode. Click on debug mode. Start air serve ng. And then this command prompt will pop up. Now if you don't use the options and then use the classic arrow wizard, a tab will pop up and you won't really be able to see everything you need to see. Let me pull this out. Shit. That wasn't supposed to happen. Anyways, start it. Start Arrow Wizard. This pops up. And it'll ask you if this is your adapter, which is the one you're using. You say yes or no. Obviously, yes. And then enter. So now you're just preparing to use your adapter, pretty much. After that, you're going to want to start Arrow Dump. And another command prompt looking thing will pop up and it starts scanning for all your access points and we got and it shows everything on them so it helps out see there's a linksys and the encryptions open no password needed uh... net gear and, a, and frank wpas um... another linksys that's a web but the linksys with the web is the one that had the most um, bars or power or the strength so um, that's when we were aiming for so what you're gonna want to do is change your channel um, to the um, target that you're gonna crack so that would be Linksys and he is on Linksys WP channel 6 and we're gonna make this quick so you guys can get understand it. I don't want to talk too much. All right, so you got channel six. You're gonna need that. You're gonna need to know the B the ESS ID, which is called Linksys, and then channel six and their BSS ID, which is also called a MAC address. So those are the three things: MAC address, BSS ID, whatever, channel six, and their ESS ID, Linksys. So you're gonna wanna hold on to hold on for a second for that. This is the way I do it anyways. Click on the AP details and arrow dump ng and you're gonna wanna type in all that information. So that was Linksys for the access point name or ESSID. They have like two names, so whatever. Linksys. channel 6 and oh, hold on I gotta look at it again I don't memorize that thing 001839 I'm gonna put the camera down type faster A 
82, 2D, E8. Crap. There we go. Well, after you got all that in, it should look like that. I mean, you just copied some information. And go back to monitor mode. Um, stop the air serve. So we need to concentrate on one channel. So you click on this tab here that says channel right underneath air serve. Hit six because that's the channel you're going to want to concentrate on. Start air serve. All it does is pop up again with another um, uh, command prompt asking if it was your adapter. Yes. And then start arrow dump again. And next thing you know, it just shows everybody on channel 6. So you don't have to do this. This is just showing people on channel 6. So I axed that out. Anyways, you go back to AP details and arrow dump ng. Click down here where it says start arrow dump ng. Now, what that's doing is targeting your the person's um, access point, which should be your own network. You're not allowed to crack anybody else's, it's illegal, by the way. Anyways, after you input that information, you start arrow dump ng, and it'll pop up. Where is it? Now it's concentrated on that person, which is me. And what your, what your target is in cracking is collecting data packets. Or another zero. You're gonna need like 50k. So we gotta get to that point. So next step after collecting information of your target and getting the arrow dump running or whatever it's called, um, you're gonna want to go to authentication and packet replay injection, and you're gonna want to go over here and click advanced, and then just hit o apply. And then authenticate, and then another command prompt will pop up, and this is what you're going to want to see. Only this. You're going to want to look for that main thing where it says association, association successful, the smiley face on the side. Well, anyways, keep all this stuff open too, because I'm not sure if I messed it up or not. After that, click start, which is right here under complex fragmentation. Click start. And another command prompt pops up. And it's going to read packets until it finds a certain packet. I'm not sure what this does. I mean, I'm not a professional at hacking. But it's just, I'm guessing it collects information um, for something. It's again, it's called an XOR packet. Sometimes this doesn't work. It's like you read the packets and it'll ask you if you want to use this packet or not and you say yeah and it doesn't give you the XOR stream packet so you have to do it again I have to do it multiple times um, I'm gonna have to make another video this gets kinda long but we're gonna pick up on getting the XOR stream packet look for the next video